So how did you come up with One Love Nutrition? We wanted to make healthy delicious again, so we wanted this to be a family environment. The initial idea was um, shakes and teas, donuts, something that would taste delicious, but that was healthy. Would you like whipped cream? Would you like graham crackers on top? Thank you. You're welcome, I'll get you a straw. These drinks are just refreshing, no, I'm talking about like, quench your thirst. The top layer will be one flavor, the middle layer will be another flavor with our aloe, and the bottom layer is our tea. People just love the coffee. We roast down in North Jersey, which is usually to be roast once a week. The coffee is very fresh. Just pop it in there, put the cup underneath. Press the two. Spark has just been amazing. Um, we enjoy going downtown to their store on 7th Street. I always get coffee, of course, and a bagel sandwich, and they're just such lovely people. It's a lovely family. Everything is always consistent and clean and delicious, and it's just a nice place to go and start your day. Bonnie's Grilled Cheese. What's better than comfort food? Something different in the area. I looked at what everything in the area is. There's no grilled cheese. It's just bread, cheese, and whatever you can think of. You can put squash, you can put eggplant, you can put anything you want. The bread is key, we use sourdough, pumpernickel, we use all fresh bread, grill it with nice butter. We use real salted butter, you know? That's what gives it the uh, real effect. I had the Cuban and the Long Island so far. It's good stuff, delicious. <laughs> Come here to rock. Come here to have some fun. 2021 is year five. Rock climbing, Ninja Warrior, bounce houses. We want your kids to be active, come out, have a little fun. Our place is also available to parents. So as long as the parents are in the weight range, they could go play with their children as well, as well as having a full restaurant in here. Just perfect for the kids and the parents too. We get to have a break. <laughs> We've been in business for 30 years. We do all garden style. We don't do grocery store looks. See what we're doing? It's like garden, what you pick is just fresh, casual, like you would pick it from a yard. Kimmy has the aspidistra leaves and all tulips and snaps, but we use a variety of flowers. We have ranoculus, which is our fun. We built a reputation for unique. Most of our clients just say, use your imagination, and we go from there. We have our building. We plan on expanding from here. We have a high tunnel that we grow our herbs in. We'd like to do some recreational stuff out back with yoga and uh, maybe have some local vendors come. Really good, unique foods. So our local tomatoes, they come from Texans. We also get them in from Goulds. We have Klein Dairy, we have cheese spreads, raw milk, Apple Ridge, we get their fresh bread. I love the small town feel of it. I grew up in a small town and this just kind of takes me back. I love the artsy stuff. I love the fresh produce, the quality meats. You couldn't give away vinyl. Nobody wanted it. It's come full circle. Now everybody wants vinyl again. If you're looking for hip hop, we got here. If you're looking for reggae, it's here. If you're looking for blues, it's here. We have new releases over on this side. It's pretty cool to see young kids come in, have the same experience I did when I was that age. Tourists are a big, big part of my business. And they really love coming to a shop like this and, you know, it takes them back in time, a little nostalgia. We just opened up on Memorial Day. It's a little lifestyle store that sells skateboards, clothing, wellness, locally made goods. Well, Holy Stokes is all about getting everybody stoked. So we don't want to just get a skateboarder stoked. We want to get everybody stoked. You can get souvenirs. A lot of our stuff, we try to make sure that they are earth friendly, handmade, and also as local as we possibly can because they have different patterns and then you get to pick out your trucks as well. We put it all together for you and you would go home with a completed skateboard. We do Grom Sundays every other Sunday. It's kids that want a skateboard or want a scooter or roller skate or bike just because sometimes it's intimidating to come here during those hours when the older kids are here so we're just trying to build their confidence. Hello you've reached the CBD lounge how can I help you? What we wanted to do was provide an open clean welcoming environment for people to come and learn about hemp CBD products. CBD CBD itself is non-psychoactive, but it's highly therapeutic. It causes your body to release your own cannabinoids. It's not what people think of as marijuana. Definitely not. Any product in our store absolutely will not get you high. CBD is totally legal. They see the plant looks very similar, and it's not something you know that you party with or anything like that. So what we offer here is a, more of an experience rather than just a store. It's more of a destination. In the Gap, it's the place to go. It's a mom and pop owned business that has gained such popularity. They have wonderful fresh food, maple syrup, homemade jam.
jams and jellies. The bakery is phenomenal. My husband and I built the business from scratch. There was nothing here when we bought the property. What does everyone come in for? Yeah. And our number one seller is, of course, our apple pie. The number two is our pot pies. And this is our chicken pot pie. I'm one of 16 breweries operating on the entire North American continent. So we're a rare breed. Sake is hard to make. I started about three and a half years ago. When I got to Japan and started eating, I learned what a palate was very quickly, and it was just like fireworks. So what exactly is sake? Sake is, is open fermentation, like wine. Wine is made from fruit. Sake is made from grain. It's made from rice. Cheers. Or kampai, as Japanese say. People come in, they're like, oh, I don't like sake. I had it squirted in my mouth at a hibachi restaurant, you know, whatever. And we just say, here, just, just try some. This sake is very floral. It's, it's sweet. It has a lot of different notes. Oh. Tell us about your dream to open a tea and coffee shop. When I was in New York, I was always dreaming to have my coffee shop. I was in financing, that's my major. So when I moved here, that gave me time and chance. I wanted to have a tea shop because there was like nothing in Poconos area. People drink more coffee than tea. So let me just have the coffee also. I was already doing my antiquing when I was raising my son. So why not just combine tea, coffee, antiques, gifts, like everything together. Anybody who drinks, they start getting happy and laughing. I have about 65 varieties of loose leaf teas and it's all fine quality. I am rolling the bread for salmon. Oh, I have to melt more cream cheese. Now the fun part, to put the salmon on. Whoever knows about tea, they know salmon is part of it. They come enjoy the experience. I offer them the best hospitality that they cannot find at anywhere else.